Well, hey everybody, uh, this is the third video that I'm doing to this time around, and I hope you're doing well today. I'm coming today just because I've had doing I was doing some thinking earlier, and it was all about no excuses. Like that's where I have been with, is no excuses, and I have to really give true background to what this means. And it was a couple of weeks ago, I woke up one random morning and. Uh, for some reason, all my experiences and credentials just flooded into my mind. You know, I, so to give a brief history as far as how my public speaking journey began, it started in, 10, in fifth grade, actually. I was 10 years old, and I forgot the words to my fifth grade talent show in front of hundreds of people. And I went home, and I told myself never again. And so I practiced, and I intentionally put myself in front of people so that way I would learn to be able to be comfortable in front of people because I understood that sometimes you only get one opportunity. And so I practiced. I was in plays, uh, talent shows, hosted talent shows, and homecoming court, went to college, did a whole bunch of leadership stuff. Um, became a manager at Menon Hall, you know, so I was always talking to not only st numerous students, but also faculty and staff. I uh, became president of ECU's largest student organization, which is BSU, Black Student Union, where we had over 120 members per week uh, to for our meetings. And then I became an orientation facilitator every summer. I did that for two summers while I was speaking in front of new f incoming freshmen. Um, and that was about a crowd of 800 kids every two weeks for two summers talking about diversity and inclusion and importance of being involved on campus and then left that came went to enterprise i did very well at enterprise uh, did three months consecutive above average customer service scores uh, and also outperformed many larger branches in greenville with just two part-time employees and then became toastmasters president at the age of 26 competed in the contest i've won over 30 awards for that and so i'm only saying this because that wednesday i woke up and i all this stuff sort of started flooding back in my mind because again it was all about that doubt and all this stuff started flooding back in my mind and i finally reached no excuses because when that all those things flooded my mind i looked at josh you have the internet josh you have a phone that is high tech right it's super high tech and there's no reason why you can't put out content or you can't reach people or you can't make a sales call there's so many other things and i just said forget it josh you really have no excuses because the real true question was what would someone else do with my life and if someone heard me say all these things is my does my life match everything i said and I just had to be truthful in that it wasn't. And so that's when I finally reached the point of no excuses, right? I'm in this no excuses zone, you know, after working 15 hour days to coming home and working another five, six hour days um, on my stuff as well, because that's important. And so that's just where I am is no excuses. And also in addition, I want to kind of briefly talk about what has made me successful. So in addition to reaching no excuses, I really ask myself what has always made me successful in the past. And one of the things that has always made me successful in past in the past is has been my consistency with prayer and reading while at work. And some people say, oh, Josh, it may not be possible. Like it's possible. I mean, when I, I did an enterprise, I did it in Menon Hall. I did it all over the place when I was doing BSU. I always was thinking about the Bible or reading the Bible or talking about the Bible in some type of manner. I would even have my coworkers reading the Bible with me and just sharing. It wasn't nothing like mandatory, nothing, just sharing. I would just be sitting there reading. I'd be like, hey, do you want to read? And I'd be like, sure, okay, sure, we're reading. And that allowed me to stay grounded. And, any, and as I reflect back on my life, anytime I was not grounded or being as efficient and productive as I know I could have, is because I wasn't consistent in always implementing the Bible, God, Jesus, somewhere within my business uh, on that personal side, because it, it does matter. You know, I found that it matters. If someone could try to tell me something differently, they can't prove that to me because I've seen it for my own life. I just can't. I can just seen it for my own life. So I've reached no excuses. Excuse me, my finger just touched the screen. So now that's going to be on a video, but it's straight, though. But 
I'm very excited about what the future is continually holding because I'm doing what made me successful. I am in my no excuses zone, whether it's posting content, getting work done, making phone calls, reading, building. And it was something else that Gary Vee said today that uh, I really want, I took away from what he said. And too many people are creating and not documenting. And too many people are strategizing and thinking. And there was a time period where even me, for me, I was reading so many books. I was like, man, this is just information overload. And I have to stop reading books. There's just too, inf- too much information. And I, I just felt like it was I had enough information at that moment in time. And I just was not doing enough. And so just get out there and do, you know, you'll learn along the way. You will. That's what experience is. I mean, that's what the word is. So no excuses, doing what has made me consistently successful and also just doing. I spent a lot of time thinking and planning and strategizing, but not implementing, even though I may not have a fully developed plan. So that's just something just where I'm being. So I wanted to kind of just touch on that for, from the first vlog. So if you haven't watched that, go up there and watch that. But anyway, I wanted to share, just sharing my thoughts with you all today. And I hope you have a good night and talk to y'all later. All right.